Welcome back. Titan Fragrance Reviews here, bringing you another house review. Something I picked up over the holidays. Um, and I'm still kind of not in the studio. I'm <laughs> I had to confiscate one of my kids' uh, media rooms. So, but I'm a big uh, Marvel. As you can see, I got Thor's hammer right here. And uh, until I set up my, my, my shop really well, then... I'm going to have to kind of be bouncing from room to room as where I'm allowed to go into. Um, but the house of Happy Land, right? Happy Land Studios is an indie house. Uh, I think it's just come on pretty strong lately. I'll give you my my take on how, how this goes. Um, got four offerings from the house that I, that I purchased. Uh, kind of do a brief synopsis on them with what they got. Start out with my personal favorite right here. Right. This is one of my favorites right now. Green Irish Tobacco. Man, I'm telling you, this 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 is our hybrid concept uh tobacco vanille and green Irish tweed. And boy, this is blended so well. Um it you know it comes across with that, you know, has has notes of I want to say lemon verbena, iris, violet. Uh, vanilla, uh, those are some of the, the notes, but really you, you get that soft vanilla, you know, that, that comes across so well. And, and that, that, that hint of, you know, the lemon verbena, kind of that green Irish tweed coming off freshness. And I tell you what, man, I, it, it's, it's definitely great long lasting fragrance and it, it just keeps on and on. And that vanilla just is so 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 delicious it comes across off off my skin um definitely i'll check this one out if you're a vanilla fan if you like green irish tweed tobacco vanille this is blended excellent I, I i absolutely am loving this one bottles sprayers spray out a ton as you'll see here man whoo that is so good uh i'm so glad i got this one right here uh Man, that's it's just so so good. Uh, I, I I can't rave enough about this one right here. If you get a chance, if you like, I said tobacco vanilla and green Irish tweed. Well, this is a gem. This is a must have for you guys. Delicious. I'm gonna go kind of the goods and then kind of I, I can't say the bads. Just not my cup of tea. But I also got on for the holidays. Maybe my lighting's kind of off, but. The play on words on this, it's H-O-M-M-E, like in uh, home for, for men, for the holidays. And this thing right here, whew, man, this is just, <laughs> if you're a gourmand, if you like coffee, this thing right here is phenomenal. I'm going to tell you what, it's got amber, maple absolute, and that maple really comes across, especially on the initial, it comes across this very syrupy, you get that coffee, it, it's it's like if you're coming downstairs or, or someone's brewing a cup of, cup of coffee during the holiday times from, you know, baking the, the pies and the, the, the different treats that you have during Christmas and Thanksgiving. This thing is gorgeous. This thing right here. And then as it tones down, the, that maple tends to settle down a little because it is a powerhouse. It is a beast. I think all the ones I've tried from here, just they are going to be on your skin. They, they definitely, they're going to give you their money's worth for sure. Your money's worth on this. The, it has some sensual musk, some pumpkin spice, which I really don't get that too much. It's really the main players for me on this one is going to be that coffee, delicious coffee, you know, fresh brewed coffee. And then that, that maple, uh, absolute, that, that syrup, it comes across. But again, it's, it's, it's not a bad thing. It really, for me, it's a, it's, it's a great, great one. For the holiday times, definitely you can't wear this. I don't think in 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 spring or summertime you probably choke yourself out. Not to mention other people, but gorgeous, gorgeous. I I, I am definitely digging that. Especially the dry down starts really getting toned down enough to where it's not blasting off of you anymore as 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 hard as the initial onset. But spray out a ton of juice, definitely awesome. Now we get on to this one because uh, I do like coffee. I ended up picking up a, a Cure Cafe. And in this one, coffee, leather, apricot, jasmine, labdanum, things like that. At least that's what the notes that, that they have listed on the website. But really, the coffee is very prominent. 
So if you're a barista or if you are going to be in a coffee house or any type of setting like that, this is complemented pretty well. I'm not saying that this is uh, bad. It's just, it's really coffee rich. You got to be a coffee lover. You got to definitely embrace that because it's going to, you're going to be blasting off like an espresso. So, so it, it's going to be, you know, just really, really blasting off of you as, as, as a coffee type of fragrance. Um, so it, 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 it's a little bit too much coffee, I guess, for me. I, I've, I've tried it a couple of times and it, I guess I haven't found the right occasion or whatnot, but it de definitely is going to perform. Mm. It's going to be one of them things that's going to go on and on and on. And, um, I, I just think it's, a, it's, a, it's for the coffee lover. This is your go-to. It is just, it is that, uh, not quite my cup of coffee, I guess, uh, but it definitely has its place for in any collection for those guys that like that. Now, the last one I picked up, I think there's quite a few others that I'm really more interested in. I just happened to pick this one up. I was, I, I do like plum, and so I thought, man, this, this, the note breakdown kind of thought I would, I would really, really like this. You're talking plum, leather, saffron. It says benzoin, jasmine, uh, but really, I, I think the maybe it's the leather or whatever. Something's very comes across very potent. I, I I can't say it's it's horrible. It's just not not for me. I, I sprayed it on. I tried to I tried to wear it, and then I guess on the good note is that when I tried to wash it off, it 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 took a couple washing. That's how potent Happy Land they make it. So you better like it because it's going to be on you. And uh, it just wasn't for me. Uh, I didn't really. I think it's the leather, maybe. It's just too powerful, and it just makes it very dark fragrance. Uh, and I'm more of a freshy, you know, brighter, sweeter kind of, for the most part. It, you know, if I want some leather, then, I'll, you know, maybe Bentley for Men Intense, something like that. I, I like that kind of stuff. But this one just, I don't know, it's getting a little too dark, I believe. And, and again, it's it just wasn't for me. And that's going to happen from time to time. You're going to find stuff that you think it's going to be right up your alley, and it isn't. But, again, they... They do create very powerful, very potent fragrances. So you will get your money's worth from them. It's just this one wasn't for me, but these others, these other two for sure. I would highly recommend get them, especially for the holidays. I think home for the holidays is great, but for all year round, green Irish tobacco is, is a must have in any collection. It's gorgeous. So... Oh man, I, I, I absolutely love that one. So, y'all know the drill. If y'all like what you see, help me out. Obviously, uh, the more subscribers I get, that, that helps me push to get to other people. And that's really the ultimate goal I had was to get to other people, as many people as I can, offer them my opinion. That way, they can make their best efforts or decisions to what they're going to go with. And, and everyone's helping each other out on this fragrance journey because we all go different directions and and I just wanted to expose y'all to something maybe y'all hadn't seen and that's something there. So if you would, tell me if you know which ones you like on there. You comment on which ones you've tried or which ones you'd like to try, which ones you have. Uh, give me some suggestions, anything like that. Any feedback is greatly appreciated. But again, I do wish you well and on to the next one, okay?